Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this is an attack meta video. In these types of videos, I show you guys replays um, at all the town hall levels, talk about the best attack strategies, what's working, what's not, what are the top uh, clans using. So this is gonna be a very helpful video for you guys to know what to upgrade, what to focus on practicing, what strategies to look to use in your arranged wars, your league wars, whatever you're in. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. I'll have timestamps in the description so you can fast forward ahead to the right um, town hall level if you're just focusing on one or two town hall levels that you're curious about. But a lot of them are gonna be um, similar. So I encourage you guys to watch the whole video because uh, town hall 10, 11 and 12 especially all overlap so starting with town hall 12 don't have as many replays but i want you guys to realize that um anything at town hall 11 is almost identical to town hall 12 it's a very similar um very similar game in terms of the three star attacks we're focusing all on three star attacks of course um just straight across town hall levels um so this is the first strategy we're looking at, which is a queen walk into a huge bowler kill squad, sending witches around one of the sides. And sometimes you can even use that P.E.K.K.A. You notice that um, uh, Cactus Clan is using that P.E.K.K.A. A nice touch to walk around the outside with your witches. It's tanky. It does damage. It's good to have up at the end. But this is probably for Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 11, the number one go-to attack strategy that you guys want to focus on. Um, because like I said, Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12 mirror each other. Um, the only difference is you have slightly higher defenses and slightly higher troop levels. Um, the Town Hall, not a huge issue. Um, now, it's going to be somewhat of an issue if your bowlers hit the Town Hall bomb once people start having maxed out uh, Giga Teslas. Um, so you got to be a little careful, but typically the bowlers will uh, knock it down um, and be out of range of the bomb. So... Um, stay tuned for more on the uh, Giga Tesla at level 5 exploding because that might change things a little bit. Um, if you are a Town Hall 12 defender and you have that maxed out Giga Tesla, put it in the middle of your base, um, somewhere maybe where Kill Squad is likely to go, guarding your heroes towards that side a little bit. Um, that's something that's going to be a very strong defensive um thing to have because it'll kill those witches, it'll kill those bowlers, whatever is inside your base, it'll completely destroy them um, with the exception of maybe Valks or Giants which aren't quite destroyed although they are pretty low. I think the Valks are almost taken out as well. Um, so anyway that's the number one attack strategy for Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12. Do a queen walk, have it meet up with a big bowler kill squad, then send witches around the side that your queen did not come from to make the other side of the funnel for your kill squad. It's going to basically go through the entire base using as many jumps as you need. Although the battle ram, um, the uh, the wall wrecker as it's called, it makes it a lot easier to not have to bring jumps because it'll go through the walls on its own. So sometimes just bring more rages, more heals, you're good to go. This next one, um, Electro Dragons. We're seeing them at Town Hall uh, 11 and Town Hall 12. Now, if you haven't noticed, this is a Town Hall 11 v 11. Uh, we only had one Town Hall 12 replay, but like I said, you can basically look at these the exact same way for Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12, pretty much interchangeable. So the Electro Dragons are great if you can send in a kill squad um, against some of these anti-Lalo bases and take out like all the air defenses, then just overpower with the Electro Dragons. The Rages are helpful, and uh, I think they're you know definitely more powerful than using regular Dragons, so look to, uh, to use these guys and... Um, the important thing is that you're funneling them. You don't want them taking out trash. It seems like on every attack, they go to the outside of the base. Use baby dragons to funnel. Do what you have to do. Um, even maybe the king, if you don't need him for the kill squad to take out some of the air defenses. Uh, use the... Uh, whatever you have to do, get the funnel broken. If you send those uh, electro dragons through the middle, that is GG. They can destroy some defenses. The range is incredible if you consider um, those uh, upgraded... Electro Dragons bouncing their shots from one building to another and it increases as you upgrade them. So that's another strategy I definitely encourage you guys to focus on. Uh, get those Electro Dragons at Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 11. It might even be more powerful at Town Hall 11. The jury's still out on that one. But like I said, very similar at both Town Hall levels. Look to use those as well. Um, this next one we saw in CWL a lot towards the end. 
uh, especially is people really taking advantage of these hog attacks. Um, this one wasn't quite as graceful. We had the king kind of get weird on us. The bowlers started to walk a little bit. So not the most graceful kill squad. Going into the base here, things kind of split. But if anything, it shows the power of the attack. You kind of come in with the warden, bowlers, heroes, a big push into the base. Sometimes you can get the eagle. That's kind of what you're gunning for. And get that gut of the base that's going to screw up your hog pathing and typically has a bomb tower, which you don't want to uh, deal with. And then just hog the rest. Now, the king makes it a little more difficult being level 50 or at Town Hall 12 level 60. If he's still up, he can be uh, a hassle, especially because you probably won't have that poison um, since you don't have, you're using the poison on the CC troops. But even still, the hogs are, you know, high enough level to typically get through the base. The warden often peels off onto them, giving them that uh, little health boost which is nice, so this was a nice attack. Um, you'll notice this one I don't think went for a three star. It was very, very close, time ran out. That's the only uh, thing that cost this attack, so um, I wanted to go ahead and show it because everything's there. It's not important that it didn't quite three star, so it's something you wanna look to do against certain bases where you can send in a nice kill squad, get the queen, and get some a, a good hog pathing carved out on the base. Typically good against uh, bases that have a little bit of dead space in them where you can get a nice uh, little runway, a half circle around the base, no more in width than like a heal spell, and you can just cover those hogs with three or four heals um, as you go around the base. So it works well with a queen charge or something too, healers, you can add them in, sometimes they'll even peel off onto the hogs. So look to do that as well. Um, two more at Town Hall 11. This one is arguably better than Hogs. Um, if we're talking Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12, the the go-to should be that uh, Queen Walk Vomit, is what it's often called. It's basically the Queen Walk we saw at the beginning into a big bowler push through the base with witches walking around the other side. That's your number one go-to, I'd say, to practice. Um, Kind of a sleeper pick is the Electro Dragons. We haven't seen as much of them because they're so new, but that's something I think that is worth uh, treating as one of the, the most powerful things and really focusing on that. And after those two, um, you could argue it's Hogs, you could argue it's Lalo, and then I'm going to show one more, which is also kind of in the mix here. It's kind of take your pick, but um, it's mainly choosing the right base to use these on. And this one, of course, is different from the kill squad hog attack in that it's the same type of kill squad but you're looking for different value. You're looking to grab air defenses, sometimes the queen, sometimes not. You can see this one doesn't even grab the queen. But look for the air defenses, the wizard towers, um, expos, stuff like that. A little bit different than the hog attack in that you're more focused on what's going to hurt your balloons, not as much on you know bomb towers or pathing doesn't have to be quite as uh, narrow the hogs you want to have that narrow pathing so they can all fit in a heal spell this can be more spread out because you can spread the hastes the balloons don't have to have the spells on them as much uh, they don't always have to be under a haste or a rage or something uh, i like the use of the warden here with the loons not often seen very much but um, it's a nice touch especially for taking out the queen when you use it on those skellies um, nothing can stop them from taking out the queen if they have that invincibility given to them from the warden so definitely lots of variations but this one i like as well so far if you haven't noticed we've seen the wall wrecker um or i already screwed that up we've seen the siege machine um on the ground version as the wall wrecker every time so that's something to keep in mind even after the little nerf it had i think it's still more powerful than the battle blimp the air version of it You've seen a few of my live attacks where I've used it, and I think it has, you know, there's some cool concepts. You can send in troops to the middle of the base if you fly them over, stuff like that. But for the most part, the ground version is still more powerful, um, and you can typically find a use for it wherever your heroes or any type of ground uh, force is moving into the base. Okay, I had to show one more, uh, once again, applying to kind of Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12. So far, everything's been in that uh that realm you can apply it to either one because like i said they're so very similar um it's it's basically town hall 12 is like town hall 11 with everything a little higher level there's not many uh notable changes when you go from town hall 9 to town hall 10 you have the infernos 
from 10 to 11, you have the eagle. Um, the base is a lot bigger. Things start to change, but I don't see... Um, you guys might maybe can point some out if I'm missing something, but for the most part, these are pretty similar town hall levels, just with some different troop levels. Um, so anyway, this is the Falcon, and I've... So when the Falcon first started being used, I wasn't a huge fan, and then I'm kind of late to, to liking the Falcon. I think it's actually a pretty solid strategy. I've thought that for a while now. Then it got the nerf with the healers and everything, and bases started to be better against it. But I'm actually still a big fan of it, even though we see it a lot less, especially at Town Hall uh, 12 and Town Hall 11 with the Warden and the higher level Valks. I think you can really do some damage there uh, with level 6, level 7 Valks. So if the base calls for it, and actually you notice the use of a jump spell there, not a bad choice sometimes. And also at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, the major difference between a, a Falcon at this top level and at Town Hall 10 is the hogs have to play a bigger role because the bases are typically going to be more spread out, they're bigger, more likely for the Valks to miss something. So you need more hogs to clean up what you don't get with your Valks and your bowlers. So even invest a heal spell in your hogs as well, which is something you typically don't do at Town Hall 10. Speaking of which, here's the Town Hall 10 Falcon. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, that, that's basically it for Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12. Uh, the Falcon, I think, is something that worth considering against the right base, especially if you don't have a whole lot else to throw at it. Um, I know it sounds kind of stupid, but you can get lucky from it and pull off a kind of a cheap three-star. So don't count it out. Um, a three-star is a three-star, and especially if that core of the base is looking um, like there's a bunch of buildings kind of all in the area, a uh, nice uh, compact core of the base, and the queen can pull stuff in, stuff like that. Look for those types of indicators. Same thing at Town Hall 10 uh, that you look for, and you can pull off some nice Falcon three stars, even at Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 11. Okay, so back to Town Hall 10. We're going to focus the remainder of the time mainly on Town Hall 10. We'll look at just like one Town Hall 9 replay, um, and I'll give a few comments on it, but like I, or not like I've said, but as I will say, Town Hall 9 is not much of a Town Hall level anymore, uh, contrary to what I thought at first. So we'll get to that. But um, Town Hall 10, I'm liking the Falcon still, um, especially against, you know, bases that aren't quite at that cutting edge design that we might see in CWL matchups. So it depends on what types of bases you're going against. But if you have the compact cores, this one looks like um, a solid base kind of before the Falcon became popular. Look for those types of bases where you can just kind of rush in from the side, you know, away from the Infernos, wherever it is, easy pathing into the core. And if you can get like 10 Valks like there are in this attack to be alive by the end of this attack, um, and by the time there's only this many defenses left up, it doesn't matter what you ignored, whether it's an Inferno even, or, you know, Wizard Towers Expos, in this case, some cannons mainly. Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever is left up, the Valks can handle it. It's just, can you get through the base quick enough? Can you get through enough of the base with enough troops left over? And you just got to practice <clears throat> with the uh, pathing of the Valks and the bowlers and stuff like that. But don't count out the Falcon. It's um, still a very good go-to at Town Hall 10. Okay, uh, Town Hall 10. Again, here we're going to show, I think, this one and maybe three more. I want to make sure I cover as much as I can. Um... I'd say this is not, La Lune has definitely become a little bit less meta after the Siege Machines came out because we started seeing people find all kinds of creative ground attacks that use that wall wrecker. But I still like the hybrids. Um, I'm not going to recommend you use the, the Battle Blimp. Like I've said, I've used it in some of my live attacks. Um, and I think there's some cool uses, but for the most part... If you're going for that three star, you're going to want to use the uh, the ground version, the wall wrecker, in a kill squad if you want to use Lalo on a base. But you can see how much more value that uh, this attack gets. It's pretty much a Sui Lalo. There's really just some wizards and then the CC uh, inside that wall wrecker. But he gets what both Inferno Towers, uh, the Queen, just so much more value than would otherwise be gotten before the Town Hall 12 update come out, came out. So if you can marry your heroes in that, it's a weird way of saying it, but if you can use your, your heroes with that siege machine uh, effectively and get that much value, just think you're, you have almost 
all your troops and a lot of your spells uh, left over, you're really not investing that much. I think there was a rage used on whatever was in the CC. I think it might have been Bowlers or Valks. I like Valks personally in the Siege Machine because um, sometimes if you bring bowlers in your in your wall wrecker the bowlers will jump out and get like squashed immediately because nothing's tanking them but the valks can kind of tank for themselves a little bit which is why i like them better in the uh, siege machine because it's typically out in front getting targeted um but anyway if you can get that kind of insane value then yeah use lalo on the rest especially if you're getting good stuff for lalo like infernos air defenses wizard towers you guys know uh what you want to get um but when we're talking town hall 10 We've looked at the Falcon, which is situationally a good one. It's kind of good against bases that are a little bit tired, not the best designs. But when we're looking at just straight up Town Hall 10, what's the best strategy? I think it remains the same answer as we talked about for Town Hall 11 and 12. Um, slightly different. You're not going to have that queen walk into a bowler kill squad with which is only on one side, which is typically what you see at 11 and 12. It's a straight up witch bowler. You can use healers. You can choose not to. This is my attack. I just went straight up um, 10 witches. Everything else was pretty much bowlers or giants with a few support troops. And then no jumps. That is, I think, what is the craziest part of all this is with that wall wrecker, as long as you tank for it adequately, like don't let it get targeted by a single inferno as soon as you drop it, it can get you far enough that you sometimes need to use one or even no jump spells. Now, in this case, nothing was jumping into that Inferno compartment. A jump would have been nice, but I just said, you know what? If the witches do their job on the sides, they'll have nowhere to go but towards that back end Inferno. And I was right. You can see the, the bowlers, the queen, everything moving towards the Inferno because the witches did their job on the sides. Um, so uh, sometimes you can bring like three rages and two heals, almost like a falcon type spell composition, but... Yeah, it's crazy. Witch Bowler is very, very powerful with the new Wall Wrecker. Use it effectively. You can use healers on those witches. Sometimes bring like only three or four witches for the sides, and then the heat like two healers on them, depending on what's on the outside. If it's like Wizard Towers, that might be a good idea. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, this is a, a great attack strategy. The most the most powerful and probably one of the more simple ones. Not the not like a spam attack. It's relatively straightforward to execute. All right. Um, Got to show some of these hog attacks at Town Hall 10. You can argue, just like Town Hall 11 and 12, about what's better, the Lalo or the Hogs. I think it might be the Hogs. I'm leaning a little bit towards that. Um, if anything, I think 11 and 12, the Lalo might be a little stronger. But when you get to down to Town Hall 10, the, the straight-up hog attack is better with that um, Siege Machine. So you just come in, uh, don't need the wall breakers. It's much easier to funnel bowlers. And if you're bringing bowlers inside the siege machine, um, it'll just pop open and they'll jump out inside the base. So the funneling's easier. That um, I'm telling you guys, the, uh, the wall wrecker just makes life so much easier. It tanks, it funnels, and it wall breaks. Very, very important functions. So you can see the kill squad bites off a lot of value. Ideally, the hogs would be sent in a little earlier. You typically want to send in your hogs when your kill squad is still alive. So they tank for each other. So they, um, it just makes it more effective at kind of rushing the base with overwhelming it. Um, and it saves time as well. But in this case, didn't do it, but still had plenty of hogs to take it out and enough time to clean up the base. So a nice attack, this Templar Assassin. Uh, we have one more Town Hall 10. It's going to be, I believe, a Queen Charge hog attack to take a look at, and then we'll wrap it up with a little Town Hall 9 discussion. But yeah, let's fast forward to the end here because the hogs have to run around, and then um, we'll get to that last attack here. Okay, King goes down, hogs chase him, and here we go. So we didn't show a Queen Charge hog attack for the uh, heavy hitters, the 11s and 12s, but it's still, um, I'd say the only difference is at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, for whatever reason, I, I'm not one of those Town Hall levels myself. I, I'm maybe not the most qualified to talk about it um, in terms of analyzing it a lot. But we don't see the queen charges with just healers and like your queen or your warden. We typically see it meeting up very quickly 
with like giants or bowlers. Maybe it's because of the eagle. Maybe it's because the bases are big. You're going to have time. But at Town Hall 10, we still see the queen charge. And check this out. You use the wall wrecker to just kind of come in with, at a place that would otherwise be like a nightmare to try to wall break. You can see how difficult that wall break would have been using straight up wall breakers. You send in that siege machine and it does it for you. And the healers aren't going to switch on to it. They don't target it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they don't target it like they would a normal troop because they can't heal it. So if the healers will stay on your queen. Uh, you just use that siege machine. You can throw in Valks like we had here. The Valks didn't really do much, but um, you can throw in bowlers if you want. Uh, just typically not stuff that's going to distract your healers too much. I guess you could throw in giants maybe um, if you want your healers to switch. But for the most part, uh, it doesn't matter. Just use that uh, siege machine to break open the walls and you can get so much more value for that queen charge um, with the walls opened up in a very strategic way. So as long as the inferno doesn't destroy it, um, the single inferno, you can get that thing pretty far through the base and carve out a lot. Now you are forfeiting a CC full of hogs that you probably otherwise would have, but the extra value you get, I think is definitely worth it. Um, just bring you know 25 of your own hogs um, and they should be able to finish off the base, which is severely more weak because of the better push you get with your queen charge. Um, so yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, I, as you guys may or may not know, I love the queen charge hog attack, one of my favorites for a while, and the uh, wall wrecker has made it a very popular strategy. Um, but like I said, at Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, main difference is you're not doing these long queen charges into the base. The queen meets up with giants. The healers switch on to giants, to bowlers. It's more of a mass um, attack, which I think plays into the warden, which is best when he's covering a lot of different troops. Um, so I think that covers Town Hall 10. For, um, we talked about everything there. Let us switch here to Town Hall 9 and only showing one attack for it. I don't know, guys. Town Hall 9, it's just... I didn't think it would be hit this hard by the update, but it really has become significantly easier, I'd say. Um, this is just one of many strategies that works, and I, I didn't, I didn't want to just take like 10 different Town Hall 9 attacks and talk about how they all work, because I think you guys, you know uh, what's up at Town Hall 9. You can use a lot of different types of attacks, and if you do want to see more Town Hall 9 videos or videos that at least cover some of Town Hall 9, let me know in the comments. I want to get a feel for that, and I'm definitely uh, up for making videos like that, but I think a lot of the strategic aspects of the game a lot of the difficulties the fun parts are now going up towards town hall 10 11 and 12 which are all very interesting in terms of three star attacks but um town hall 9 uh, we're seeing higher hit rates we're seeing it probably not going to be in cwl invite and only very very small town hall 9 numbers in the other uh cwl leagues i'm not sure about the the leagues outside of cwl um, what types of numbers they're going to have, but Town Hall 9 is kind of being phased out of uh, the competitive war scene to some extent. I think you guys kind of know you can use witches, you can use a lot of different powerful stuff, so I'm not going to go through it, but like I said, if you do want that kind of information, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to, uh, to take a second look at that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think. If I missed anything, be sure to comment below um, and let, let me know what, what types of powerful attacks I did not include. If you want some base building videos, let me know as well, and I'll check all that out soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.